What's good? It's your boy The Dunn back with another The Dunn's Favor. Look, I'm tired of people saying dumb stuff on social media, man. So this guy, yeah, I'm I'm going to go ahead and uh, give him a shout out. Ryan Lee MP on Twitter. This is what this fool said. He said that Julio is going to have an MVP season, which we all hope. And he also said that uh, Edo Smith is going to have a breakout year. But guess what he also said? In the same breath, this fool said that Dirk Curtis would be fired by week eight. And I'm like, Bro, what are you talking about? Like, I swear, some of y'all be showing y'all behind so much, man. Like, if Julio is going to have an MVP season and Edo's going to have a breakout year, why would anyone fire Dirt Cutter? Let's, let's, let's be real. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this damn phone. But let's be real. Like, Y'all got to start saying dumb stuff. And then when people come come at y'all for saying dumb stuff, y'all want to get mad, and then y'all want to have some of y'all friends to co-sign on y'all. No. No. Like, come on now. It makes no sense what y'all be saying. Like, if Julio is going to, if Julio is going to have an EVP season, Edo is going to run the ball, and 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 have you know have a breakout year, guys. Dirk is not getting fired. If anything, guess what? Dirk is going to end up leaving. All the way that he's leaving Atlanta, but he's leaving Atlanta because he got another head coaching job, thanks to the Atlanta Falcons offense. All right. Let's let's make sense, you guys. And also, someone said that he also said that we had a top ten offense last year. No, we did not. Our offense was ranked 15th. Check Football Outsiders 2019 team offense. All right? It, it'll, show, it'll show you 15th ATL, Atlanta Falcons. All right? We did not have a if we had a if we had a top 10 offense, we could have probably won a couple of those games last year. Instead of us going 7 and 9, we would have went 9 and 7 or 10 and 6, and we could have had a playoff berth if we keep it in 100. But we did not. We was ranked 15th. And our offense was ranked 20th. All right? So, that goes to show you, if you look at the numbers, you look at the facts, you see why we was a mediocre team last year. Because we was average on offense and we was below average on defense. We was horrible at defense in the first eight weeks because we was ranked like 28th, 29th in the league. But those last games after the bye week, we turned it up and we was ranked a top five team. Which in defense, when you you equate that up, you went from what, 29th to 20th. There you go. Simple math. All right. So enough of that. But on to some good news. Robbery week will be back. We got our show tomorrow. We're going to cover Georgia Southern. We got uh, Big Frank from the uh, ABC uh, News in Savannah. He's going to join us, and he's going to pretty much preview Georgia Southern season. Uh, stay, stay tuned for that. We will be going live tomorrow around 8.30. And then we got another second rivalry show on Friday. Yes, Friday evening. I know it's kind of a hassle for you guys, but you can watch it at a later time. We're going to be covering the Georgia Tech versus Florida State game. And we got some special guests coming on that show as well. So make sure you tune in to both of those shows because you don't want to miss out. All right. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this content out with other Atlanta sports fanatics. And hit us up in the comment section. As always, come holler at your hometown sports podcast. This is the Dunn. Y'all have a great Wednesday afternoon. And don't forget your mask. Come out.